There was a party for Langston, King of Letters, by Jason Reynolds, with art by Jerome Pumphrey and Jarrett Pumphrey. There was a party for Langston at the library, a jam in Harlem to celebrate the word making man. Whose ABCs became drums, bumping, jumping, thumping like a heart the size of the whole wide world. Langston was the best word maker around, could make the word mother feel like real warm arms wrapped around you, giving a snug hug. Could make the word America look like two friends making pinky promises to be cool, to be true. Could make the word Harlem sound like the perfect place to have a party make it where it seemed like you could bust a move right there in the H or the L or the M of it, where new dances are born. There was a blowout for Langston. To celebrate the man who wrote wake up stories and rise and shine rhymes for all the dreams we've dreamed. Ever since he was just a little boy, daydreaming under the Ohio sky, turning birds into words flying all around him, imagining the clouds as paper to put them on, the best word maker in his class. But not everyone understood Langston. Some people thought it was better to be word breakers thought his spelling deserved yelling, wanted to take words like free and love and cut them in half, pull them apart, keep all the letters from touching and sharing. Keep the big H's with the little H's and the big A's with the little A's. Some folks think by burning books, they burn freedom. Langston, the brave word maker, knew letters were better together, turned them into laughter. But freedom stands up and laughs in their faces. And that laughter rang out for years and years in cities and towns on trains and tractors to classrooms and bedrooms, bringing joy to the little and the big. And that's why there was a party for Langston at the library. A fancy foot get down all out bash. All the books on the shelves were listening and looking at all the people shimmying full of dazzle. Nobody, don't, don't nobody dance like a word maker and all the best word makers were there. Like my. whose Langston's language teacher tickled as a child, who grew up reading his words and learned to make words of her own. She could make the word woman seem like the word mountain, and the word cage feel like a place far, far away. from this library, this party. Maya dressed in constellations, stars dangling from her. She rose up from the floor, flapping like a free bird, flapping so freely with wings unbroken. Mary, one of 
other one, another of one of Langston's word children was at the party too, came bopping in dressed in his good clothes and his soft shoes, black, his favorite word on his tongue. Mary could make the word black sound like it could be red. Could make the word black echo into the future and way back into the past. Back to Langston. Mary came to recite poems at his hero's feet, came to dance boom da boom boom da boom boom boom, came to offer his rickety radio heart to Langston, the man who wrote. His neighborhood as America and his family as America and his funky music as America and America as America too. The man who wrote Maya and Amiri into the world. And Maya and Amiri danced like the best words do together, dazzled together. They held hands and swung and spun and slid, stepping and stomping and boogie boogie wiggling wild. Oh, what a time to gather together to gather together. until they lifted their heads to the word-making boy who had grown up to be a word-making man and had now become the word-making king. To Langston, for Langston. And let the laughter fill the library. Laughter, the language of ha ha ha, loud like the love in the library that night in all that hoopla in Harlem at that party where the books were looking on as new words are being written, where the books were listening, just like you.